In this video, I'll show you how to enable the Scripps Studio Sound Effect and this is potentially supposed to make your audio file, your podcast, your video audio sound a little bit better by doing some noise reduction, reduction of the echoes, doing some equalization and all around just trying to make your audio file sound like studio quality whether you've recorded it via mobile phone or maybe equipment that uh, doesn't really cut it or even in a noisy area then that's what we're going to try and achieve in this particular video. So I'll show you how to enable it and we'll see if it really works as uh, advertised. Now, please uh, bear with me because this is still in beta. They are still improving, but I believe it's a good way uh, to take off uh, all this thought process of thinking, how am I going to equalize my audio? How am I going to reduce the noise that I had? Uh, the only thing I wish is that it was a little bit easier to select what changes uh, one would like for the different options. But since it's AI, then I think we'll just leave it to AI to do what it does best. So uh, just one note is that uh, if you have an audio file that was in a project before this particular update, that is version 19.1.1 of the script, then you'll need to re-upload it so that you can enable this particular studio sound effect. So that's the only down uh, downside to this, but I believe they're going to enable it for older audio files uh, in the long run. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a new project here. We can just call it sample test or something. Just create project and it's going to open up our workspace. And since I already have the audio file that I want to use and uh, this particular sample audio uh, was recorded via Zoom. So my assumption is uh, it's not the best of recordings, uh, but let's see what we get. So I can just drag and drop it inside here. So the file has been added. Uh, so you can just select this uh, to enter speaker name or just detect speakers. I know there are two speakers. So it's detecting speakers. Let's click on done. So it might take a little bit of time because I've uh, set to select speakers and all that. Uh, but uh, once this is all sorted out, it's going to uh, automatically start transcribing our audio into text. So uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds and see what we get downloading media files. And I believe once the downloading media file section is done, it's going to start transcribing our audio into text. So let's just give it a couple of seconds so we can show I can show you how this particular feature works uh, and hopefully it enhances our audio to sound a little bit better. So it's transcribing our audio 0%. I believe uh, if you want it to be a little bit faster, uh, leave the detecting of speakers uh, to after the transcription process is done. So let's just give it a couple of seconds to finish transcribing. Uh, but we've already got the notification, multiple speakers detected in sample audio for test. Uh, .mp3, you can identify speakers. Uh, but let's give it uh, some time. So there it's done. So what we can do is we can click on identify speakers. Uh, you can just get started. That's okay. But I yes, from a children's book that I recall from back when I used to be a teacher. That was a very, very fun book to read. So I know who uh, that is. Just uh, uh, Deb. Yeah, no, we oh, had yeah. a whole podcast about how I had a terrible I know who that, that is. That's Chris. <laughs> Wasn't that like episode two? So uh, that's done and automatically all this uh, uh, transcript is segmented into the difference because uh, that are actually in this particular audio. So the main aim for this tutorial is to enable studio sound that is make our audio sound a little bit better. So you can do the following. You can either right click on your audio here and click on view media and this will show you the media in the project files or come to the project files. But now once you're in the project file section, on our right, we have effects and then a checkbox next to studio sound, which is in beta. And if you hover over the question mark, it fixes speech recordings with background noise, echo and other ambient clutter, elevating them to studio quality. So if we listen to this. And some interruptions because of that leak, which has returned. <laughs> oh, I know we got, to, we got to meet your husband live in person. <laughs> Life happens, right? Even when you're recording a live podcast. Well, I so uh, I believe uh, that's not bad. We can just go back uh, and see uh, 
we go back to the start. So these are the wavelengths of our audio. So let's enable Studio Sound. And once I click on this, applying Studio Sound, it's enhancing. You'll see this. Uh, you'll see this particular option here. And if you hover over this, you'll see Studio Sound is still being generated. So once it's done, uh, the loading bar or the circling is going to end. And if you look clearly at the wavelengths of this particular uh, audio sample, it flickers and changes a little bit. Now, the studio sound is on. If we play it. And some interruptions because of that leak, which has returned. <laughs> and if we uncheck it, go back. And some interruptions because of that leak, which has. So the original has some echo. So, and you might need to have some headphones on uh, to listen to this. The original file uh, has some echo. Uh, let me just uh, adjust my volume slightly. Returned. <laughs> now, studio sound, it changes. And some interruptions because of that leak, which has returned. <laughs> Let's go back to the start and do this. And some interruptions because of that leak, which has returned. The original has an echo of sorts, uh, but uh, with the studio sound effect turned on, then we have a better, cleaner, audio output. Uh, let's just listen. And some interruptions because of that leak which has returned. <laughs> now, that's pretty awesome. Just at the t uh, uh, ticking of a button, this works really, really well. Now, maybe it would be awesome uh, to just have some check boxes or to know what's uh, being changed here and also chances to be able to fine tune uh, the different effects if it's noise reduction, uh, echo removal because sometimes you may need some echo uh, or maybe to even segment some different sections and add the different studio sound effects that are applied automatically. Uh, it would be really awesome. But since it's AI that is doing all this, then maybe uh, we might have to wait to get the different uh, effects under the studio sound effect. So I don't know how it sounds on your end, but I hope that it sounds good and that uh, we are going to appreciate this new feature from Descript. That's it from me. That's how you enable the studio sound effect in the script. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, take care and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.